It's March. We're back. I told you we was going to have Final Fantasy news. Dudes thought I was capping, but I'm 98% right all the time. You thought you wasn't going to get this work, but you know what it is. We're here to take your games. You want our games, but we want your games, and we're going to get them, and we're going to get everything you got. Final Fantasy is on deck. The Xbox handheld is on deck. New revisions to existing hardware is on deck. We out here fighting, surviving. You thought the European market wasn't going to get this work? Y'all dudes is talking, but I'm here to put this work in. Let's get to these topics. Sponsor is brought to you by XboxGamerPicks.com, where you can get anything that you imagine. The only limitation is your imagination. That is XboxGamerPicks.com, where Graphic Card will craft your greatest pick. Trust him, trust the process. XboxGamerPicks.com is the way to go. Peace and blessings, and welcome back to Xbox Frontline News with your boy, the King. And you know how we do it. <laughs> we over here, we working. We just got back from PAX East 2024. Incredible. Then we got on stage, first act up over at Last Stand Media. If you caught it on 23rd Street in New York City, the heart of New York City. Oh, man, it was something to see. Something incredible. So get over there. If you're a Patreon member, uh, I don't know how they work their thing over there, but go check that out and see what it is. If you're a member of Xbox Frontline, you was getting statue videos, you was getting game videos. All the members got every game, and I'm dropping videos every day. I'm editing videos every day. You saw Lord Sovereign, the new KN anchor, had that under wraps. I had to let y'all know I was gonna let that go. I had Maddie Plays, I had Snowbike Mike, I had On Point. Listen, so many interviews, 108 Dragons. Ah, you got Lord Cognito, I got Hard Geek Shani. I got so many interviews there, so many different people. I got my running mate this week coming through, Jay Bari. Friday show, Friday live show. We kicking it off this year with Friday's live show with my man Jay Bari coming through. Woo, woo. You know what's happening. We're having a great time. It's going to be great. Um, Met him out there out in Boston. He called the kid. The kid showed up. We had a great time. Everybody know the pictures and everything that's happening out there. Let me tell you something. When New York boys is out of town, we link, all right? And I'm going to make sure my peoples is all right all across this globe. Then we can get back to war in later. But when we out of town, ain't no fighting, bro. That's my guy. Shout out to Jay Barry and the team. Saw Pasana. Pasana was there. Pasana looking good, looking healthy. Love what you're doing, boy. Stay doing what you're doing. All right. All the politics out the way. I'm hearing the European nation talking about, oh, Xbox sales is declining. Y'all pick PlayStation. Don't talk about us. We just send y'all a couple of million dollars to get y'all weight up. Jim left y'all high and dry, didn't he, though? Didn't he, though? He just closed down a couple of studios over there, didn't he, though? But these dudes is complaining, talking about games ain't selling over there. Boy, you better look at your own backyard. Your games ain't selling where it is. Listen, man. Hashtag no PlayStation 6. You know what it is over here. The king will continue to keep the boot on Kong neck. This whole generation, I will expose the frauds. These dudes don't understand who's the man and what's really happening. There's a whole plan. There's a psyops. You dudes is falling for the banana in the tailpipe. Xbox, Ben did they pivot. Ben working on other things. It's engagement, bro. If you're putting your game over there and you're talking about sales, then maybe you ain't get it in Game Pass. You're looking for the bag? Your game got to get its weight up. I don't hear none of that talk. I talk to devs all across the floor. 
Nobody had that type of rhetoric. That's over at GDC. I heard Debs complaining about GDC. Dudes out there vulturing, shark hunting, looking to get a hold of that wallet. Dudes that don't know nothing about video games. Just want to invest bread. Heard uh, Fortnite is making a ton of cash. Let me see how I can get in on that. So the EU, hmm, you know I can use. I can use a F and a U and put it together. I don't care. Not the people. Not the people. Love you to death. <laughs> Most of my fan base is over there. I'm talking about the rhetoric that's coming out from idiots that's trying to spread rhetoric. Your console's going to pass, bro. It's about done and over. That PlayStation 5 Pro, underpowered, again. Catching up to the X, again. You thought you was going to play Grand Theft Auto 6 <laughs> in 4K60. Sorry. So where we at with this? Exactly where we supposed to be. Xbox on your neck, pause. We about to get this done. No ditty, bro. We on this. This is about to go down. Xbox about to take over. You just watching it happen. And you can't disrespect our games no more. Why? Because you don't even know if it's coming on PlayStation. So you guys are scared and leery. Get your games up. Get inside Game Pass. Hey, I did Xbox. I holla at you, Indies. For real, though. So too many games for y'all to be out here with this capping. Mad disgusting. But I got a fantasy I had. And I told y'all, in March, I was going to get some news. It was about now, this to next topic is incredible. But what we're going to talk about first, we're going to talk about the giveaway. When we hit 10K, because I've been giving away statues, y'all see them, premium statues. Ran into a couple of people at Last Stand Media. One of the dudes told me I got them into statue collecting. So if you're a member and I have a ton of statues, you can see those statues back there for all the members. Also, as a member, when we hit 10K, I'm going to be giving away this Gentle Giants one third, one, well, one fourth statue, Hyper Deluxe. Honey Trap by Gentle Giants, code name Whisper. Yeah, Jenny Vicious. And you can see all her vicious assets right here. Something incredible. I mean, listen, I got a big head. Pause. This statue is crazy big. This is a large scale statue for anybody that's going to win. Uh, shout out to the 10K. We almost there. We way more than halfway there. It's going to go fast. Go by faster than you know it. But also for members, every week on Friday on the live shows, I give away coins. I have tons of coins. Tons of coins. Coins. Different style of coins. All style of coins. We also have the exclusive coin that we was selling at Last Stand Media. These coins, I will give away to members. All these coins. This is my pledge to you guys. Every week, Friday, I give away a coin. We wasn't here last Friday, I'm giving away two coins. We're going to have uh, Jay Barry on this week. I'm going to give away three coins. And I know you guys are saying, why am I having Jay Barry on? He's down with the <laughs> with the opposition. Remember, I'm running for president of Sony SIE. Huh. And I need a running mate. So he talks to the constituents. I need an in. You understand? In order to win, I need an in. So my running mate is going to join me. And we're gonna talk about what ills PlayStation. Why everything is falling off and falling out. But I'll help things through. So vote for me, April 21st, 2024. And I will definitely take this to the next level. I remember, you remember. We can't allow this to continue to happen. We will make PlayStation great again. We will take their games and spread it all across the world. Everybody will have PlayStation games. No longer will we talk about AAA bangers. Everybody will get a chance to banger. No ditty. You understand? So listen, vote for me April 21. 
2024, where I will become CEO and president over at SIE. And the first order of change will be changing that name to SEI, because I'm here to put the entertainment back into interactive. <laughs> now, nah, back to, you know, what I'm talking about. But, yo, seriously, um, we heard a rumor that Ben Studios is supposed to be working on a live game over at Sony. Now, this is where I'm going to call fraud on this. Ben Studios was disbanded, and it was used as a shadow uh, studio. Well, not disbanded in the sense of, you know, they no longer were working on games. They was put as a shadow studio. Now, maybe they had a game that they had uh, in the middle of production and they put Ben Studios to work on it. Now Ben Studios has taken over and are in control of said game. I think that is more plausible. So one of those games that was going to come out that was going to be a great um, live service game, Ben Studios is on it right now. <sighs> How do I feel about it? I feel the same way I feel about every Sony game. What happened to Factions 2? What happened to the Spider-Man multiplayer game? What's up with these games? What's up with those games? But then you want me to be excited for this other game. Every time I turn around, you're canceling and throwing games away. Do I really give a damn? Do you really think that's something that I care about? Not at all. Not in the least. I want to see finished products. I want products to come out the door and reach as many people as possible. That stuff with Hell Divers, putting it on two platforms, thinking that you're going to succeed, is the same goofy mentality that you've had you've had this goofy mentality for a long time and you have shot yourself in the foot so many different ways but this next topic is a topic that i've been telling you about i've warned you about and is about to go down final fantasy who's mm, ha told you What's going to happen? You're not listening. Yo, I ain't getting it in your head, but y'all are about to get it in your head now. Pause. No ditty. Square soft. What's going on? Square Enix. What it do? Looking at you. Final Fantasy 14. That be on Xbox. Final Fantasy 15. That be on Xbox. Final Fantasy 16, that not be on Xbox. Why that not be on Xbox, King? Why the poor begging ponies get a chance to have a game that we don't get, King? Well, I say this. Square has a problem with money. Financially, they stinking. And you know... Being that Microsoft is number one in the world, probably number two now, but it'd be flipping, it'd be flopping. But we're talking about a tri $3 trillion company where Xbox is number two in earnings in a $3 trillion company ahead of Windows. Who would have thought it? Square need money. Xbox, yeah, they make games. Microsoft does, you know. They also have a console where games sell at. If you're a third-party developer, why are you so stupid? Very simple. 14 is there. 15 is there. 16 not there. 14 is very smart in the sense that it just launched. It was in beta, stuff like that. Nice MMO. I don't have the bandwidth. So don't go asking me your kink. No, I don't. Now, if World of Warcraft did show up there, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to do something. I'm going to have to make something happen. Because you saw, as soon as I got back from PAX, what's the game I played? I played my Fortnite, B. Don't look at me different. Don't look at me funny. I don't care. I don't care. No build mode, too. Don't be coming at me with that build bro mode, bro. Get out of here. Nobody cares about that. But anyway, back to what I'm talking about and back to getting to you, Square. That was a universal flop. Final Fantasy uh, 16. Let's get back to 14. So 14 
has some DLC that is linked to 15. I mean, that's linked to 16. Now, the director of 14 didn't want to go into it because he didn't want to piss off Yoshi P, the director of 16. Now, let me explain the connecting thread. The connecting thread is 14 is on Xbox. But if they're talking about a quest line on 14 that is linking to 16 that will be able to be played on 14 that is on Xbox, Yoshi P don't want to talk about that yet. Because that game needs to be on Xbox because there's a quest line directly talking about that 16. Let's get back to how smart Yoshi P is. And let me tell you why I believe Yoshi P is playing chess, not checkers. Yoshi P knows that the DLC that he's about to drop for 16... We're going to wait a little bit because Elden Ring is about to rock. And we're going to give you all a week ahead of time. Smart man. I got to tell you, that's smart. He's a smart man. Elden Ring will knock your, your socks off. Pause. No ditty. I'm just saying. Right? So you let Elden Ring rock. Then you come out. Now, the PC joint was about to launch. And they've been wanting to put that game on other platforms, consoles. What other consoles? Not going to on, on Switch. That's Xbox. I told y'all in March what y'all was going to get. Shout out to me being 98% right all the time. So the game comes out on PC with all the extravaganza package. Yada, yada, yada. Announcement coming out on Xbox. Now we can talk about 14's quest line that links to 16 that Xbox players will get a chance to experience. And they will know what they're talking about now with that quest line that's available on Xbox because 14's on Xbox because then they'll be playing 16 and it makes sense. Shout out to me being 98% right all the time. Hashtag no PlayStation 6. You know exactly how we do it over here. We're going to keep the boot on Kong's neck this whole generation. But you know, this is the part in the video when I'm going to tell you to like, follow, and subscribe. And I'm going to take that logo and I'm going to toss it up in the sky. Then I'm going to smack it right back down to the ground. Because I'm going to let you know King is back home. And the chain is back on his neck. Try to play the game pass.